hi everyone welcome to my channel yeah today i am going to show how to create one new extension project and update update the project to the git repository so i will start from here i create one new project I, this is my visual studio code yeah i am going to start one new project so al.go so I want to create one new project is git project one I'm going to create so in my local I'm having the spring 19 release version so I'm going to select the business central spring 19 release Okay, now the project is creating. It's still running. You can see the change. The okay, now they're asking the server data. So I'm going to select my local server. This is the local server. So still I need to change the change the authentication to Windows because this this service is Windows authentication so I don't want to type the username and always the username and password so I just select the Windows authentication so next is to download the symbol so it's downloading the symbol yeah, and the symbols downloaded so I am going I think there is already one page so maybe I can create one new page like page number like 10 10 customer extension to hello world so I am going to publish the project Yeah, project is published, but I haven't installed the web client, so I cannot just open the the URL here. So this is the warning message. Still okay, the project successfully published. So I go here. Okay. Now the next step, I want to publish this project to the git repository so first of all i go to the git here i am going to create one new project new repository so the project is what is the name i forgot This is the name. So I just create it as a public project and create repository. And now the repository is created. Okay, I just copy the URL. Okay, then go to Visual Studio Code. <coughs> go to the source control C the source control so before we push the changes to the git we just need to check whether the git is enabled on the visual studio code so you just go to the settings here the below one the settings icon you click here and go to the settings so you here you can search git enable so you can see yeah here this workspace the git is enabled so i no need to change any settings otherwise you need to enable the git so now the git is enabled so just go back to the source control so the source control uh, the 
repository is not initialized so I need to initialize just click here initialize repository okay now the repository is initialized so they find like all these new files so the changes we need to push to the repository git repository so I am going to write one commit message like initial commit so just commit it okay now it's committed so the next is is just committed but still it's not pushed to the git git repository is just committed in your local so next you want to push the changes to the repository if you see here the repository is still I refresh still it's blank repository nothing is here so I just go here and try to push this push will hit error because the remote re repository is not configured so I need to configure first so what I do I just go to the commands and git add remote so the next is the remote the name name I can give I can update like git test project okay git test project this is just the name I just click and the next is the URL I, I put the URL so next and so now the remote repository is added if you see here here see the test project is updated git is, is connected to the git see git server is already connected and the branch is master so the next is you want to push the changes so still the repository is blank so we just we haven't pushed the changes so I go here I click here this is the publish changes so the local publish commit I mean the local commit everything will publish to the server so I click here publish changes now it's processing see this synchronizing the changes so I you just need to wait to complete this synchronization so it's still processing wait it will not take much time yeah it's, it's already completed so no other changes I can go here I can just refresh so now the project is committed all the files is committed to the git repository so if you see here there is one commit one branch so this is the commit if you see here the commit yeah this is committed by uh, Aguilesh is three minutes ago yeah it's committed around three minutes ago then later we add the remote remote repository all these details so it took around two minutes that's why the timing is around three minutes ago okay now the next one I'm going back to the project so I just want to change the project I just I am going to change the project Mes the message hello world 2 then save so do you want to save the changes yes save see the icon this source control they find there is one pending changes this changes is not committed to the git so I click here I just put new message new commit message uh, live message updated so I am going to commit it yeah it's committed then the again synchronize the changes that means push the changes to the git so it's updating
wait wait okay now it's done see the progress bar is, is this one is stop already so that means the new changes is already pushed to the git repository so I click here now you see there is two commit okay the second commit the commit message see the hello world has the another commit like the commit message you can see message updated I am go I am going to the changes and I click here so I can see okay this is the changes okay okay thank you for watching my video thank you